Ashley and today we're in Los Angeles at Ashley's Extensions. We're going to be showing you today how to put in extensions without sewing or gluing. There's a few ways to do this but today we're going to show you how to do the micro link method. Today I have Vicki here. She's going to be our beautiful model and she's going to help us show you how to do this. So what we're going to do first is you always want to work neat. I've already pre-parted her hair. So you just go through, find a good clean line and what you want to do is make a second parting about a quarter of an inch thick we're going to be working with. Um, if you'd like, you can tuck this hair uh, behind her ear. You can pin it off. Typically, you would be working from bottom up, so you won't usually have to do that. But for the purposes of this video, we're going to clip that hair out of the way. Also, too, you want to work about two fingers from the hairline and from the ear whenever doing this method. You don't want to get into these little hairs. First of all, they will show if the client pulls her hair back. And also this hair typically is finer and less dense and so usually will pull if you have the tension from extensions in this area. So try to avoid that area. And so what we're going to do is we're going to have our two fingers of hair. We're going to get that on out of the way. You can clip that back if you'd like. I'm just going to move it out of the way. I like to use a rat tail comb or my pointy nails to make the partings. So you can use your rat tail comb to part or if you have pointy nails, which I usually have, you can use your nails to part the hair. Just make sure they're neat. Okay, now with the micro link we use what are called micro beads. They usually come in little, little things like this. I like to put them on what I call a threader. I usually will have them pre-threaded so you can move fairly quickly. They also come in all different colors. So for our client, we're gonna use a blonde color. If I was gonna use it on, say, myself, I would use a black bead. So we're gonna take the hair about a quarter of an inch. We're gonna pull the hair through the threader like so, grabbing our two fingers. Make sure to grab this hair taut. We're gonna pull the bead forward. Push, push, push. The hair is pulling through. Now you've got a perfectly parted section of hair with a micro link on the hair okay so for this method you're going to need what's called an eye tip or shoelace tip extension the hair is basically has some glue they roll it and it makes kind of like a shoelace tip uh, at the top we're going to put that right in in um, into the bead now what I like to do especially going towards the top I usually like to actually put it underneath the extension so that it looks more natural Okay, so we have it here. You don't want to make the bead go too high. That's too much tension. You don't want to go too low because it has a bad grow out. You want to kind of get it just right. I'd say about a quarter of an inch from this part down, about a quarter of an inch. You're going to take your pliers and you're going to squeeze once, squeeze twice. Try to get into the apex here. That's the most pressure, twice, and then a third time for good measure. If you don't squeeze tightly enough, they will fall out and your client will come back and haunt you down. So make sure you squeeze three times and tightly. Now we're gonna do this again. You can go side by side right next to this. Um, today I'm gonna to leave a part or a section of hair out. So I'm gonna leave that out. I'm using my nails or my rat tooth comb. You wanna make a quarter inch parting. Hold the hair taut. You have your looper. You're going to stick your fingers through the looper, grab the hair, pull the hair through the looper, start sliding that micro link up. Okay, you're going to take your eye tip, put the eye tip through. Sometimes I use my plier to kind of slide that eye tip down. Make sure the extension is not too high. You don't want that high and not too low. Okay, you want it about a quarter of an inch from the top of that part. And you're going to squeeze once. Squeeze twice at the apex, and for good measure, squeeze three times. And that's how you do a micro link um, installation. No glue, no sewing, no heat. It's perfect for clients who are concerned about that. I'm Ashley, and hopefully you can check us out at ashleysextensions.com. And remember to stay beautiful.